The question isn't what we are going to do, it's what aren't we going to do. Chris? Yes? Do you remember this 80s classic? I think I hear a school bell ringing. I'll give you a small hint. This year marks its 30th anniversary. Then the year has to be 1986. And I think it's about the kid who caught out of school too much, and that must be Ferris Bueller's Day Off by the late, great John Hughes. Am I right? You got it. Excellent. Stay tuned to hear more about this 80s classic. You're watching another episode of Chris Kelly from 80s TV. Bueller. 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 I will find you, Bueller. Hi, I'm Chris Kelly. In the 80s, I spent four years of my life on TV. So that was an awesome experience. But you know what else I enjoyed? The movies, the TV shows, the pop culture, the music. Everything 80s. So let's talk about that and more. Welcome to Chris Kelly from 80s TV. Get ready. Hi, I'm Chris Kelly. And this is my lovely co-host, Lillian Naradowski. When we talk about the movie Ferris Bueller's Day Off, we're talking about an iconic classic. There's so many great scenes, right Lil? Like the cool coughing machine? <coughs> Like the coughing machine, or the principal chasing Ferris, or Ferris convincing his friend Cameron to taking his dad's prized Ferrari, which he does do, or... Ferris at the parade in New York City at the end? And I think he sings the song, Donka Shane. And I think he lip synced because he didn't know the words, and I don't either. But it says, Donka Shane. Did you know that Emilio Estevez turned down the role for Ferris Bueller's best friend, Cameron? And instead, the role went to Alan Ruck, who actually turned 30 years old a few weeks after the film's release. Who ever heard of a 30-year-old high school senior? Charlie Sheen really got into his character. He actually stayed up for two days to achieve his police station look. I actually heard that in 1986, you could buy pretty primo tiger blood. In the words of Charlie Sheen, winning! The opening quote is the most memorable. Life moves pretty quick. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. I think I have to agree with Ferris Bueller on that quote. Never take time for granted. Okay, it's been 30 years since that film debuted, and then again, it's been the blink of an eye. If you find yourself needing to get out of high school class, never hesitate to use a homemade coughing machine. <coughs> we hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Please be sure to follow us and like us on YouTube and Facebook. And remember to tune in and call in every Monday night. You can talk to us live on Totally Driven Radio 8 to 10 Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for watching and until next time. Remember, but don't forget, you can always take somebody out of the 80s, but you can't take the 80s out of anyone. No one. See you next week. Thanks.